What are the wiring standards in computer networks? Why do we need to know about wiring standards? It sounds really boring. Well, you're going to need to know wiring standards when it comes to wiring UTP or STP network cables to an RJ45 jack. A standardized set of wiring standards were developed by the TIA EIA for wiring twisted pair cables to RJ45 connectors. And the TIA EIA is better known as the Telecommunications Industry Association, if you're wondering what that acronym stands for or who that organization is. The wires in network cables have to follow a certain specified order so that your network can function correctly, so that any network that they're used on can function correctly. The two wiring orders or standards established are called the 568A and the 568B. The 568A standard is wired in this order. You begin with white green, then green, white orange, blue, white blue, orange, white brown, and brown. And the 568B standard is wired using the following order. White orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown, and brown. Now notice that the only thing that really changes here between the two is that the orange wires kind of exchange places with the green wires. And I just wanted to kind of point that out. The rest, the blue and the browns, those tend to remain the same. Now there's no defined rule on which of these standards are used or which has to be used on your network. But you need to understand how the two standards come into play here. So let's get right to that. Whether you choose to use the 568A or the 568B standard, if both ends of the same cable are wired using the same standard, you have what's known as a straight cable. The cable shown here is wired on both ends using the 568A standard. Using the straight cable allows data to pass through from end to end and you're not moving any wires to different pins when you get to the other RJ45 connector. A straight through cable is the most common type of network cable. It's used to connect computers or devices or what we call end devices directly to hubs, switches, and modems. The next type of cable is called a crossover cable. A crossover cable is created when both ends of the same cable are wired using the two different standards. So on one end, it's wired with the 568A standard, and on the other end, it's wired with the 568B standard. So if you have that set up on, on a single cable, you have what's called a crossover cable. Crossover cables are used to connect two similar devices together. And a good example of using a crossover cable is when you're connecting two computers directly together to each other to make their own personal network with each other. In that example, you would use a crossover cable without having a hub or switch in between them at all. And last but not least is what we call the rollover cable. A rollover cable is created when the wires on the ends of the same cable are exactly opposite of each other. You typically use a rollover cable to connect a computer or a terminal to a router's console port for direct access to the router's settings and its configuration. You'll often hear someone asking for a rollover cable when they're trying to connect to the console port on a router or sometimes on a switch. You'll use a rollover cable. Typically rollover cables are used on routers though primarily. Now if you like this video or if you like this channel please subscribe, click the subscribe button and click the bell if you like this video so that you can be notified when I release new videos once a week and I will see you in the next video.